Based on recent media attention, one might wonder, what's with all the police violence? Are the police out of control? Are there any honest cops left? As of 2012, there were 313,910,000 people living within the U.S. For that same year, the FBI projects that there were just over 670,000 sworn peace officers. This equates to being less than two and a half peace officers for every 1,000 people. So our peace officers represent less than a quarter percent of the population and in the performance of their duties will come into contact with about 17% of the population and then subsequently arrest less than 4% of the population. And that's assuming that no single person was arrested more than once at that given year. Now as excessive force complaints can come from anyone, let's actually focus in on the scope of officer contacts. So in a year's time, 670,000 cops had contact with over 53 million citizens. These contacts could be anything from being pulled over, issued a citation, given a warning, interviewed as a witness, requesting a service, involved in a collision, reporting a crime, witnessed a police action, victim of a crime, disabled motorist, consensual encounter, or even being arrested. Of all those millions of contacts, the Bureau of Justice Statistics last identified that 26,000 complaints were made due to excessive force. This is not quite half of 0.1% of all police contacts. Of those complaints, only 8% were sustained, having any form of merit or evidence. That'd be 2,080 sustained complaints, or 0.0039% of all law enforcement contacts. To put things in perspective, in the same time frame, 84,376 people in the U.S. reported being forcibly raped. 30,800 were killed in traffic collisions, and 14,827 were murdered. So in regards to true excessive force by the police, you are seven times more likely to be murdered, 15 times more likely to be killed in the burning wreck that used to be your car, and 42 times more likely to be raped. Probably not by a cop. 